Dear friends, welcome to Bond with RK Chemistry YouTube channel. In this video, I will explain aromaticity of non-benzenoid aromatic compounds, azulines and fulvalines. The azuline is originated from the term azure. The literal meaning of azul is blue. The color of azuline is blue. That's why it is originated from the azure. The azulene has two rings, one is five membered and the another one is seven member ring. The five member ring has three two pi bonds and the seven member ring has three pi bonds. Finally, in azulene you have 10 pi electrons. It's an isomer of uh, naphthalene. We know that naphthalene is aromatic, it's a benzenoid aromatic compound. As like naphthalene, it is also aromatic. If you take uh, the resonance structures of azulene, these are two resonance structures of azulene. This is the resonance hybrid of azulene. In, uh, in the resonance hybrid of azulene, you can find a tropelium cation. One ring is a tropelium cation. And uh, second ring, it is a Cyclopentadienyl anion, cyclopentadienyl anion. These two rings, tropelium cation is aromatic and cyclopentadienyl is aromatic. So finally, this uh, azulene is aromatic due to having two aromatic rings. One is tropelium cation, another one is cyclopenta dienyl anion. Let us take uh, other azulanes trya, trialene, pentaalene, and heptaalene. In this case also, there is a, a fusion of two rings. In case of trialene, you can find two three member rings, pentaalene, two five member rings. Heptaaline, there is a two seven member rings. In azulines, you can find uh, rings with odd number of carbons. There is a fusion rings with odd number of carbons. If you take trialene, pentaaline, heptaaline, all these are anti aromatic in nature. Anti aromatic. If the two rings are same, in case of azulines, if the two rings are same, the behavior will be anti aromatic. In this case, how many pi electrons are there? Two pi bonds, so four pi electrons. It's a planar, cyclic planar, four and pi electrons. Here, four pi bonds, eight pi electrons, four and pi system. Here, 12 6 pi bonds and 12 pi electrons it is also 4 and pi system so all these are anti aromatic in nature let's take a question related to azulene the compound azulene is given aromatic and has high dipole moment aromatic and has no dipole moment non aromatic and has high dipole moment anti-aromatic and has no dipole moment. If you take resonance hybrid, the resonance hybrid is, this is a resonance hybrid. This one has positive charge and this one has negative charge. This is tropelium cation, this is cyclopentadienyl anion and both the rings are aromatic, so azulene is aromatic. Here, there is a separation of positive and negative charge. So when there is a separation of positive and negative charge, you have high dipole moment. High dipole moment. So what is the correct option? Aromatic and has high dipole moment. Which among the following exhibits the highest dipole moment? Which one exhibits highest dipole moment? In this case, you have positive charge and a negative charge. But in this case, there is no separation of charges. It's a neutral one. This one also neutral one. This one also neutral one. 
So if you take these three, these are anti-aromatic. These are anti-aromatic. So the dipole moment is nearly zero. In this case, the dipole moment is nearly zero. This one has a very high dipole moment. In acetylenes, the aromatic compounds has high dipole moment due to separation of charges. Fulvin. Fulvin has cyclic cross conjugated with odd number of carbons in the ring. So the ring has a odd number of carbons. The ring is in a cross conjugation with the methylene group. Suppose if you take a pentapalvaline, fulvin, this is a 5 member ring. This is in conjugation with the methylene group, CH2 group. Cross conjugation means you can find this type of system. This is the cross conjugation. The, uh, this double bond is in conjugation with two double bonds. So this type of systems are called cross conjugated. Here also you can find cross conjugation. Here also you can find cross conjugation. So in Fulvin, there is a cross conjugation between uh, ring having odd number of carbons and methylene group. All fulvins are non-aromatic. Irrespective of number of pi electrons, all triafulvin, pentafulvin, heptafulvin, nonafulvin, all these are non-aromatic and have wolfinic behavior. They exhibit uh, the properties of double bond. They, they exhibit electrophilic addition reactions. Lack of diamagnetic ring current, strongly alternating bond lengths, very low dipole moment. Due to lack of diamagnetic ring current and also paramagnetic ring current, these are not uh, aromatic and also anti-aromatic. These are non-aromatic and also strongly alternating alternating bond lengths. It means uh, here the double bond length is different from single bond length. Here also double bond, single bond, double bond, single bond. The length of double bond and the length of single bond is not equal. There is a huge difference between bond length of double bond and also single bond. Falvaline. Fulvin is different, fulvaline is different. Fulvaline means there is a cross conjugation between two rings with odd number of carbons. Fulvin is one ring with the methylene group. Fulvaline means uh, two rings which are in conjugation. Okay. Here uh, three member ring and a three member ring is in conjugation. And this one pentafulvin, five member ring and five member ring. 7-membered, 9-membered and 9-membered rings. If the rings are same, 3, 3, 5, 5, 7, 7 and 9, 9, the behavior is anti-aromatic. If the rings are same, in case of fulvalines, if the two rings are same, then the behavior is anti-aromatic. Triafulvin, pentafulvin, heptafulvin, nonafulvin, all these are anti-aromatic and also dipole moment is nearly zero. In case of anti-aromatic, uh, the dipole moment is uh, nearly zero. Suppose if you take two different rings, there is a cross conjugation of two different rings. It's a three member ring and a five member ring. It's a five member, seven member, three member and a seven member rings. In this case, if you take uh, resonance structures of these one, suppose if you take uh, this this one, that is straight. These electrons comes on five member ring. That is straight. Here there is a formation of negative charge with lone pair of electrons, and this one is has positive charge. Suppose if you consider individual rings, this one is aromatic, and uh, cyclopentadienyl is also aromatic. So when you shift the double bond towards uh, any any ring, if there is a possibility of uh, aromatic, 
aromaticity of both the rings, then the total compound will be aromatic. This one is aromatic. Triapentafulbene, it is also called as calicine or calyx. This one is aromatic. Suppose if you take this one, uh, let us take uh, these electrons comes like this. Cyclopentadienyl anion and this one is tropelium cation. Tropelium cation. In this case also, this one is aromatic. Tropelium cation is aromatic and cyclopentadienyl anion is aromatic. So when there is a movement of these electrons, when, when you get aromatic, both aromatic, the compound, the whole compound will be aromatic. This one also aromatic. Suppose if you take a pentaheptafulvaline, it is aromatic. Suppose if you take this one, well, let us take uh, this one. It's a negative charge, lone pair of electrons, and this one is positive charge. This one is aromatic, this one is anti-aromatic. So when you get aromatic and anti-aromatic, uh, the final one will be anti-aromatic. This one will be anti-aromatic. So when you move the double bond electrons towards any one of the ring, if you get aromatic or aromatic or anti-aromatic and anti-aromatic, then the compound will be aromatic. Suppose in this case also, aromatic, aromatic. Suppose if you move electrons like this, this one is anti-aromatic, this one also anti-aromatic. Finally, the compound will be aromatic. If you get aromatic and anti-aromatic, or anti-aromatic and aromatic, then the final, final the compound will be anti-aromatic. Among the following, the number of molecules that are aromatic is okay this one this one this one is anti aromatic two rings are same this one is tub shaped non planar non planar it's a non aromatic and this one is azulene azulene this one is aromatic and this one has uh, two rings, seven member rings, and uh, how many electrons are there? 12 electrons. It's a anti aromatic. Okay, all fulvenes are uh, non aromatic. So this one is non aromatic. This one is aromatic. Indole is aromatic. And uh, due to repulsion between hydrogens, uh, this one is non-planar, non-planar, so it's a non-aromatic. This one here, there is a delocalization of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 pi bonds, 7 pi bonds, so 14 pi electrons, it's a 4n plus 2 pi system and the planar, it's a aromatic. So how many are aromatic? And uh, this one is aromatic, this one is aromatic, and uh, this one is aromatic. You have three aromatic compounds. Which among the following does not exhibit geometrical isomerism? Okay, let us take the first one. Here, when electrons move the uh, five member ring side, you will get positive charge and a negative charge. This one is aromatic, this one also aromatic. So finally this one is aromatic. So when the three member ring gets positive charge and five member ring gets a negative charge, the compound is aromatic and uh, the C double bond C becomes single bond, C single bond C. Around this bond, you have C single bond C. So when there is a C single bond C, there is no geometrical isomerism. So in this case, uh, there is no geometrical isomerism. So if you take this one, we know that this one is anti-aromatic. 
in case of anti aromatic uh, the it has double bond character so it can exhibit geometrical isomers this one exhibit geometrical isomers if you take this one you can write like this minus and plus aromatic this one also aromatic finally this one is aromatic here what is the bond nature you have single bond nature so there is no geometrical isomerism in structure 4 if you move the double bond electrons towards any ring so let us take this one here you will get negative charge and here you will get positive charge this one is aromatic anti aromatic so finally anti aromatic here what is the bond nature when fulvaline is anti aromatic here you have double bond character so here you have double bond character so there is a geometrical isomerism so which among the following will not exhibit geometrical isomerism let us take one two three four which which does not exhibit geometrical isomerism and uh, first one and third one first one and uh, third one they cannot exhibit geometrical isomerism because they have single bond character which among the following has highest dipole moment okay aromatic compounds has highest dipole moment in case of uh, fulvalines uh, aromatic compounds have highest dipole moment you have to identify which one is aromatic now uh, here uh, electrons comes like this positive and negative so there is a charge separation here uh, the dipole moment aromatic aromatic finally this one is aromatic so in this case the high dipole moment high meaning okay when uh, the rings are same and the rings are same it's anti aromatic so there is no charge separation in this case and nearly mu is equal to 0 in this case minus and plus so here also aromatic aromatic so finally this one is aromatic in mu is high and if you take this one if you take any structure if you take uh, the movement of pi electrons towards uh, three member ring you will get uh, negative charge and positive charge so it's a anti aromatic and it's aromatic so when there is a anti aromatic and aromatic uh, finally it's a anti aromatic so mu is equal to zero so which which structures have highest dipole moment first one and third one these two have highest dipole moment in coming video i will explain the aromaticity of uh, polar rings thank you thank you very much